So Apple has released yet another software update for iOS 15.2. Today releasing iOS 15.2 developer beta 3. And as per usual in this video, I'm going to go over some of the latest new features and changes within the latest beta. Now this sort of changes everything in regards to expected release dates for the final version of iOS 15.2. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over some of the latest details. As per usual, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, aside from iOS 15.2 Developer Beta 3, Apple has also updated their other platforms. Mac OS 12.1 Beta 3 is now out. iOS 15.2 Beta 3 iPad OS 15.2 Beta 3, of course, Watch OS 8.3 Beta 3, and TV OS 15.2 Beta 3. So all their devices or all their platforms pretty much, as well as HomePods, by the way, HomePod OS 15.2 Beta 3 is out as well. So Apple updated everything. And the first thing I want to talk about is AirPods Pro. Now, the new AirPods Pro have received a firmware update, firmware update 4A402. Now, unfortunately, there isn't any manual way to update AirPods. If you want to update AirPods Pro to the latest firmware update, make sure you pair your AirPods to your iPhone, make sure they're both connected to a power source, let them sit next to each other for about 30 minutes or so, and they should update automatically. Once they update, you can head on over to your AirPods Pro in Bluetooth section here, click on the I next to the name, and then underneath here, you see that it says a version number. This will be the new software update. As you can see, I just updated the latest software update or firmware update for the AirPods Pro. Now, unfortunately, Apple does not provide any release notes or anything that's new within the AirPods Pro, but I'll continue to dig within the AirPods software to see, or the actual features to see if there's anything new that I can share with you guys in future videos. So make sure to subscribe for that. Now, in regards to iOS 15.2 beta 3, there's a new legacy contact splash screen here. Add someone you trust to your legacy contact. Now, this is a feature that was re-enabled with 15.2. It's now available on the latest beta. Share your access key and, of course, pass down your digital legacy. A new splash screen overall for the legacy contact setup under your iCloud settings. Now, a feature within the Find My Network under the Items tab that allowed you to help return a lost item, as you can see right there, or items that can track me, was changed within Beta 2 and now reverted back to what it was before in Beta 3. This is what it looked like. You can find or tag and identify an item, or you can track items that can track you in order to disable them. But Apple has switched it back to what it was previously in iOS 15 right here. As you can see right there, they named it differently. The UI looks different. It's no longer available in Beta 2, and this is what the UI looks like. Again, going back what it was before. Now, in regards to expected release date for iOS 15.2, now I did mention that this software could be releasing late to mid January next year because holiday season is coming right up, but Apple switched to a weekly release schedule, which means this software could be releasing before the Christmas week. Now, if Apple continues on a weekly release schedule, next week is Thanksgiving week. I don't see any software releases next week, but the first week of December, we could see maybe the RC and an expected release date, maybe mid-December if Apple continues to work through the holidays. We'll have to wait and see. It's kind of weird now the Apple switched to a weekly release schedule right before the Thanksgiving week because this gives it about two and a half to three weeks for Apple to push this one out to the general public before Christmas and New Year's break. If Apple just doesn't release any more betas, obviously we'll see the software pushed out mid to late January next year, but we'll have to wait and see what Apple decides to do with iOS 15.2. As of right now, on a weekly release schedule, don't expect a new release next week. It is Thanksgiving week. I'll be highly surprised if that happens. Expect another beta maybe within the next two and a half weeks or so. Of course, stay tuned here to the channel for my follow-up video where I share with you guys additional new features and changes within the software after I use it for several days. Thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.